today's video, I'm going to be explaining the flow rate calibration in Orca Slicer. So with Orca Slicer, you can easily determine what the best flow rate for your filament is. If you're very close to the extrusion or to um, the flow rate you want, so if you're not seeing like under extrusion or lots of over extrusion, so you're not seeing like gaps in your model or you're not seeing clumps on the top where too much filament is coming out of your uh, nozzle, you'll want to go with this YOLO. So the YOLO makes it really easy because you're able to just do this one run and pick the best, um, pick your best tile that has the least over extrusion or under extrusion. I like to run my nail along the top. And if it, you know, the less noise it makes, the more even I think it is. So let's just say, for example, you run this test and you see that this number here, minus 0.02, that's the best one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your filament and you're gonna change this number to 0.98. Because that's one minus the, the 0 0.02. You can do further testing to do the YOLO perfectionist, um, but unless you're gonna be printing the same model multiple, multiple times or you have one filament that you are just really gonna use, I don't think it's necessarily worth it. Um, but now let's go over the, the, the other option, which is pass one and pass two. So if you have, for example, like a new puffy silk filament or um, you're seeing tons of under or over extrusions, you could go into the calibration, go to flow rate pass one. And this is gonna give you a larger um, number so a larger kind of difference between them, which is gonna help you dial it in. And then once you do that, then you'll go and dial it in even further. So let's just say, for example, you're, you're back at your one and you're doing the pass one because you noticed a lot of under extrusion. So in here, you'll see two of these tiles that are probably pretty close. So let's just say, for example, it's the 10 and the 15. So let's just say the 10 looks just almost perfect right but it's like a little bit under and let's say the 15 looks a little heavy so we'll take that number the 15 and we'll plug it into an equation I'll show you where that equation can be found it's right here in flow rate and so for our example we're saying 15 and we are starting from 1 so it makes it really easy so I'll just pull out the calculator for an example So it's, it's 115 times 1 divided by 100. So you can see how it makes it really easy when we're just starting with 1. And I think they do this equation because, you know, you could be starting from a different flow rate or you also have, could use it for your test too. So then we put that uh, 1.15 in here. We'd save it. And then we'll go into calibration and we'll run pass two. And the reason you want to use the one that's a little bit over extruded is because this pass two has a, oops, sorry about that. The pass two has negative numbers. So basically what's gonna be happening is this zero is your 1.15 flow rate. And then every number down here is, um, less than that, kind of like a percentage less than that. So let's just say now you find out, because you were really close, so we'll say like this minus eight. So then we'd use this minus eight and we plug it into the equation again. So that would give us, just to be clear, so you'd go, you'd go 100 minus eight, which would be, would be 92. And then that would be times our current flow rate which is the 1.15. And then we're gonna divide that by 100. And that gives us 1.058, and that is our perfect flow rate. And we can plug that back into the filament, and we are good to go. Um, and just to go a little into the perfectionist too, you can then, you know, if you do the, perf the YOLO route, you can then dial it in even further. I don't know that's 100% necessary, 
but I hope this really helps. Um, something to keep in mind is that different filament has just different properties. So like silk filament will puff up a lot. Um, like a, a matte filament usually won't. Uh, so you might see that you have to go below one for those silk film filaments and maybe stay at like one or 1.05. It really depends on the filament. Um, but once you do dial this in and you kind of have your bearings, you can say like, oh, this filament looks like this one. So I'm going to start with my 1.05 instead of the one and then just run the YOLO or the YOLO perfectionist. And you can use that equation to get it really dialed in for each of your filaments. So hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for watching. And um, if you enjoy 3D printing content and technology content, please consider subscribing. I appreciate you checking out my channel.